Well, we've got our regular rig here, LS301 0 to 10 volt dimming control. It's been sitting here for weeks. Things have moved around in the garage. There's now a vehicle parked outside the door. I'm getting a partial that's a bit higher than what I checked the last time. I'm getting about 24 for a partial with a, a partial daylight of approximately 16. The question is, and this thing appears to be working about the way it did originally, so good deal, and we're still testing it by rolling the door up and down. So let's have a look at what happens when conditions change in a closed loop daylighting system. Right, so I cut the daylighting out of here. Uh, under partial, uh, this was running at about 13, 14 foot candles coming from the electric to fill in what was missing from the sunlight. And now it should be going up to its uh, reference illuminance. Okay, with the daylight cut out, the thing is adjusted up to 20 foot candles. 20, 20.5, 20 20.9, 20 20 and a half, 20 foot candles. What's going to happen in this system if I change things by putting a black cloth on this table? Well, we would expect it's going to affect this reference illuminance. Let's find out. We're right at 20 foot candles of reference illuminance. Remember that this sensor was tuned down off of full output using the closed loop sensor. I think this is going to react pretty quickly. So we're just going to cover this and see what happens and not move anything there. I'm looking at 21, 21.2, and uh, 21.3, and we'll see where it uh, settles out. Uh, I'm settled out at 23. Let's remove this and uh, see if it takes it back down to 20. And yep it comes back down to 20. So this is showing us that changes in the environment, the reflectivity of things under a closed loop sensor is going to affect the operation of the system because it is running off reflectance from task surfaces. So if you have a big empty room and you put all this thing in, this thing in, and you calibrate closed loop sensing devices in there, uh, when you uh, things are brought into the room, that's going to change. In this case, it changed by more than 10%. The reference, it changed by three foot candles. So, I'm going to repeat that test again, and I'm sure it's going to happen exactly the same. And there you have it. You wouldn't be seeing this kind of stuff with an open loop sensing system. And once again, back up to 23, and back down to 20. This is very interesting, it's repeatable, and you can see that this is a very real thing, and let's take a look at why. Here you can see that the sensor is really not receiving a lot of light. So the sensor itself is up here in a very a dim area uh, where it is really just receiving reflectance. But what happens when I begin to bring daylight into the space? Well, it's a little hard to see on the camera, but we've got a lot of light coming on down onto the task surface from the electric lighting, but when you bring in and very little up here, just reflectance. But when I begin to bring in daylight, it seems to be hitting all of these surfaces because it's bouncing all around, which means that setting up daylighting systems, you really have to take into account the geometry of the space and other factors, the angle of the sunlight coming in. It's really not for rank amateurs.